Hello again, everyone. I am Jeff. Jeff opens cards. And we've got Milo Cat here as well. He's ready to see some Alpha Crates opened up here on Splinter Forge. I just completed the bulk buy. You can see I own 1,128 packs. Bought 1,000 plus 200 bonus. I transferred uh, to the few people that uh, involved themselves in the buy with me. Uh, so those that did already got their packs. I know at least one of them already opened theirs. And it sounds like they did not do too well on their polls, only getting uh, one legendary in 54 packs. Uh, the odds sound like they are 0.8% uh, odds, uh, which, like per card, so that equates to 1 in 25 packs should be a legendary. And we're going to open 250 alpha packs, alpha crates. They're called crates elsewhere, right? And it has some bags. So when I'm in the forge screen here, they're called packs. But if you're in the shop, they're crates and bags. Just realize that. Um, but anyways, as Miles is here, he's purring up a storm, so... Hopefully, luck is on our side here. Uh, so from 250 packs, uh, we are expecting to get 10 legendaries. And let's see, 20 epics per 100, so it'll be 50 epics. So 50 epics and 10 legendaries in total is our expectation. Um, there's only 10 different cards we can get, uh, but those 10 cards repeat in each rarity. So there's basically 40 cards in the set right now um, for the Alpha Crates. Uh, the... Naruto's Rain, I'm probably not saying it correct. That was a pre-sale airdrop only, not available in the packs, even post-airdrop now. Um, there's a few others that will be airdropped uh, once different pack sale requirements are met, just like with Splinterlands. Um, and those ones will be in the crates that you open after those airdrops conclude. Uh, but the first one's at 200,000 uh, packs or crates sold. Uh, and right now they're at like 68, 69,000, something like that. So could be a bit but we shall see. Um, just so you guys are fully aware, in case you don't know, uh, basically the most desired item uh, from the Alpha Crates are the Agile Boots. Obviously, the higher the barrier, the better. Um, it seems like, based on the P2P market, uh, I did my research, I have my own little price guide cheat sheet off to the side here. Um, the lowest want-to-sell prices I could find in P2P over the, like, the prior few hours when I made it uh, the Agile Boots for Legendary came at 47,000 Forgium, uh, Wand 30,000, Short Bow and Agile Quiver 29,000, uh, let's see, Hardy Leggings 18,000, and all the other ones were between 10 and 15,000. Uh, so Agile Boots, where you want to find the most, followed by the Wand, Bow, and Quiver. And then basically kind of works the same in each rarity thereafter. Uh, for Epics, Agile Boots look like they were 6,000, the Agile Quiver and the Short Bow and the wand were 5,000. Everything else was 4,000. Uh, for rares, agile boots, 2,000. Sometimes you see them a little cheaper. Um, uh, the, the floor for rares is 1,000. The better ones are like, like 1,250. Commons, I put a floor of 120 because each common can be burned for either 10 Forgium, not very good, or 100 Electrum. You get a 10x when you burn your cards for Electrum instead of Forgium, assuming the PT article I found is still up to date and all accurate. These are the first cards I will own, so um, I can't speak from first-hand experience just yet. Uh, but Electrum, when you burn them, you get 10x what the Forgium would be. And there are people who have what they call Electrum service, where with someone you trust, you send them your item and you pay them 1.2x in Forgium, what they're using in Electrum, to add sockets to your cards. Now, so this could be over your heads, I'm still learning some of this stuff as well. Um, so if you don't understand that, don't worry. But I'm going to get back in the open here. Again, we're putting 250 total. I'm going to do, I think, 50 at a time, five times. Um, so, yeah. Well, let's just... Yeah, we'll, we'll just do 50s and 50s. So open 50 crates, and we'll go from there. So obviously I have more than this, than 250. Um, I don't plan to open them all at once by any means. And I don't want to do it all in a single video either. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, Milo? He's, he's kind of looking at the monitor, so, you know, he's he's invested. He's invested. He, he's hoping he gets some of these on his hero. So, now, one thing that they don't do in this game that they do do in Splinterlands is have a color highlighting the card. So, you know, if I want to, I can't, you know, reveal just the commons and then just the rares and so on and so forth. They do still have it where if you get multiple of the same card, they'll all be in the same one. So, basically, all that really makes sense to me is just to go in order. I could reveal all, but... These are my first ones. I want to save it a little bit and have a good time here. So let's see how we do, shall we? So we start off with nine Agile Boots. Very nice. 
Although, let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it compares when we're done here. Uh, but this is the one I want to get the most of. Agile boots in any and all rarities. Worn Hearty Tomb. Okay. So perhaps 9 was terrible because we got 23. Let's see. We're, we're, well, we're doing 50 packs here. So we should have a 188 commons. That's half of 376. So that means we should get like 18.8 of each. So actually, 9 Agile Boots is terrible from 50 packs. We should be getting at least 18 to 20. Oh boy. <laughs> Seven standard hearty tomes. All right, there's our first epic superior sword. Uh, so you'll see here pretty quickly, um, all the commons and rares at level one will have a stat boost of one. Uh, the epics will have a stat boost of two, and I believe the ledgers will have a stat boost of three. When you level them up, they all have higher stat boosts as well. Um, each different rarity maxing at a different one. I think it's, I want to say it's like, is it seven, six, four, three, or... Actually, I have it on the sheet here, don't I? Um, actually, no, I don't have that on my spreadsheet yet. <laughs> my spreadsheet is incomplete and inconclusive. Mabi. Mabi. All right, let's keep going. We've got nine standard short bow rares. Uh, so we should get 50 rares. So five of each rares would be the average. So these are both above average with nine and seven. Because yeah, based on the odds, it appears that epics and legendaries replace commons. And that you should basically always get a rare in every pack, I think. Because uh, it had the odds of rares as 20%, uh, which is one in five cards. So we'll see. 12 standard iron gauntlet rares. There's our first legendary, the Elite Sword. And that is not one of the better ones as far as like the main weapons for what main hand would it be. Um, sword for warriors. Uh, that is the least desired. Uh, the meta is more magic and uh, range based. So like I said, the wand is 30k, short bow 29k, the sword is 15k. But it is our first legendary in our first row. So that's a good start. Got seven standard wands. Let's go a little quicker here. 21 worn wands. So yeah, so the commons are worn and then the name. The rares are standard, fill in the name. Epics are superior and the legendaries are elite. I kind of wish like the epics were elite just because E and E and then legendary was something above elite, but... I'm picky. All right, so there's next epic is the Iron Round Shield. Superior, not the Pokemon. <laughs> it's SU, not SE. So let's see. Uh, shield, that's not one of the better ones. That's 4,000 to Forgium, I estimate. Got 11 standard swords. 16. Okay, second legendary is the Iron Gauntlets. And on my cheat sheet, gauntlets, 13,000 Forgium value. And again, for my 50 packs, we expect two legendaries. We already got two in the first two rows, and we're halfway through. So uh, we, we are doing better than some of them that was in the group by. Uh, good for us, bad for them, but that's how RNG goes sometimes. I'm sure not every 50 will be as good as the other 50s. There's two epic hearty tombs. Tomes. I think it's tome. Because tomb would be with a B at the end, right? I don't know. Superior wand. Nice. So that one's... Well, the epics are all pretty close in value. Granted, some are probably like more desired and more liquid than others as well. Can we get any boots of a rarity besides the nine commons we got? They shouldn't be more difficult to pull than others, but superior short bow, nice. Three of those. Ooh, jeez. Um, short bow, so that's also a 5k variety. That, the quiver, and the wand are each 5k. And again, the boots I have 6k on my spreadsheet. And a third legendary, the Hardy Leggings. Nice. Uh, let's see, Leggings, 18,000. So that's actually like high in the low tier, or mid tier, however you want to phrase it. Milo is leaving. Okay. Well, we got three legendaries in three rows with Milo, and now he has left me, so wish me luck. <laughs> there we go. Two epic agile boots. All right. We'll take that. 22 short bows. Nice. Eight Agile Quivers for rare. 14 Iron Round Shields. 18 Agile Quiver. 9 Rare Hardy Leggings. 15 Gauntlets. And 4 Rare Iron Round Shields. So let's see. Epics, we had 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's what we expected. 1 in 5 packs. We won 50. So yeah, we should have gotten 10. 
and we expected two legendaries, and we got three. So uh, we, we beat the odds, and again, someone else in the group by, they opened 54, and they got one. So combined, we got four and 104. It's basically the expected odds at that point. It's one in 26 instead of one in 25. All right. So we're off to a slightly above average start. Again, exactly what we expected as far as epics go, and we beat the odds on legendaries slightly. What I should mention for those not familiar, um, you cannot pull gold foils in the crates. That involves transmutating or whatever their terminology is, which I got to fully brush up on before I start doing that myself and do my own number crunching stuff to figure out what I feel is the best to do and go from there. But Okay, so we have one less card this time, which is probably a bad sign, actually, uh, because the more different we show here, because in 50 packs, we should get all of the commons, all of the rares. So that's 20 cards. And 3, 6, 7, 14, so 28. So that means we basically have 8 slots here for different epics and legendaries. Now granted, in the last batch, we had as many as 3 of the same epic. So we could still get more epics and legendaries this time if there's duplication. Uh, but there's actually good duplication of epics last time. Good as in there is, there's at least 1, 2 of, and 1, 3 of. So... This could be a bad batch. We'll see. But we'll, we'll go faster and faster now. Only two rare Agile boots. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. There's our first epic. All right. There we go. We got the legendary Agile boots. Uh, again, 47K is the cheapest I could find that was uh, offered for sale in the P2P market in the last several hours when I looked a couple hours ago. All right. Seven shortbow rares. Oops. Uh, 22 common, 13 common, 5 rare tomes, 27 hardy legging commons, 13 swords, 3 epic hardy leggings. So like I said, duplication is high. This batch could still be better than the last batch. Um, just the fact we got the legendary agile boots, like that's worth as much as 3 lower end legendaries, basically. So even if that's your only legendary this batch, as far as like value wise, this batch could still be better if yeah, that's the only legendary we get. Uh, basically, picture this as being like one of the best legendary summoners in Chaos Legion, if you're from Chaos Legion, and some other legendaries are, you know, not summoners, basically. I think it's a, it's a fair, reasonable comparison. And there's our second legendary anyway, so hey, all good. Uh, round Shield, that is the cheapest one, 10k, um, and that was a for sale plus I saw by Tales from the Crypt Mancer. I think the next year's I saw was like Tower 13,000, so he was the cheapest by a couple of thousand. So you could argue it's maybe worth a little bit more than 10,000, but uh, this is apparently the cheapest, uh, at least if you wanted to buy it from anyone's post a couple hours prior, that was the cheapest legendary option on the market. Two epic hardy tomes. So we're at six epics. Again, we expect 10. And we already got our quota of two legendaries. So could we get four more epics? 10 rares, 14 commons. 14 commons, 26. There's another two epics. That's what, eight? If I didn't lose track already in my head. 55 agile boots this time. All right. So that's now 36. And the odds was 37.6 in 100. So we're basically back at odds right away on the commons there. So nice. And another legendary elite short bow. That is also one of the best ones after the agile boots. Coming at 29k. I think we had the one in the previous batch, didn't we? That's 30k. I don't think we had the Agile Quiver yet. So we're doing well. We're doing well. Standard Wand, only one of that rare. Interesting. One of a rare in 50 packs. 16 common short bows. And another epic in the close, Superior Agile Quiver. So is that nine and three? One, three, five, uh, eight. Yep, nine epics and three legendaries. So we're now one shy on our expected odds of epics, we've gotten two extra legendaries. We got six in our first 100 packs, and we expected four. So, and one of them was Agile Boots. So we are crushing it. We got three of the four best legendaries overall already. Love it. Love it. All right, 50 more. Cone firm. Okay. Oh, and in three minutes, my stamina is maxed out. Uh-oh. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I mean, after this stuff, y'all quickly submit one battle and then finish the opening, 
get my equipment going, and then exhaust my stamina once I have a non-naked hero. And, all right, we're back to four rows plus one card. Good, good start, good sign. Three rares. Two epic agile boots. Very good start here. Eight rares. <laughs> Legendary already. Hardy Tome. I think we got that one before. 18 common short bows. Three rare leggings. Legendary gauntlets. That's the second one of that one, I'm pretty sure. 16 commons. An epic hardy tome. So we got the two highest rarity of tomes already. Two epic gauntlets. So, so we got epic and legendary of both of those. That's already four epics and two legendaries. 18 commons. 10 rares. 21 commons. 19 common agile boots. That's basically odds. Uh, what is it? 18.8. Eight is expected, so 19. <laughs> 26 Hardy Tomes, three epic short bows, two agile quiver epics. So that's five, six, seven, eight. We already have 10 epics and two legendaries. So any epics legendaries in all of this are now extra. We're doing great. 16 commons, 24 commons. There's our first extra epic. So that for the 150, now we're at exact odds on epics. Six rares, 14 commons, another epic. Four rares, one rare, nine commons, seven rares, six rares, and seven rare agile boots. All right, so we did not get any extra legendaries that time, uh, but we are now plus two overall on legendaries and plus one on epics for our expected stated odds. Okay. So let me just jump over to battle here real quick. And I'm, I'm slowly chipping away here at the gold boss with my naked hero. I'm in 74th. I, I'm, once I get my hero equipped and then exhaust my, my uh, hero, I should definitely, definitely secure myself a leaderboard spot. I may have gotten leaderboard you know, if I stayed naked, uh, but why do that when I have these cards now? And this is the team I've been doing. I don't know if it's the best one, but... Because uh, there, there's Affliction. And there's Shields. Like, you kind of have to go Magic. Uh, but you can't heal. You can Repair. Which, I'll have one Repairer. But... Yeah, just what I threw together... Like, I tried a few different things. So I did the best with. I'm not confident that's the best thing I could be doing. And we'll do Merdali Guardian. Because it has Repair. It has 4 Speed. Um... I could do Scott Bow Hireling. Actually, Hireling is probably actually better for me to do, even though I've not been doing that, just because it's got camo, and you probably want to stick around. Because the heal's not going to do anything. Why have I not been doing Hireling? Or was I, and then I, like, I changed unknowingly and just kept doing that? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. But yeah, Hireling should be the better choice, because you want to keep repairing. If your repairer goes away early, you're probably in for a bad time. So I've, I've been doing like 2 to 250. I broke, slightly broke 300 a couple times. I get under 200 sometimes. But I'd say like 225, 240 is like my sweet spot. If this breaks 300, then I'm going to be mad at myself. And it's only one sample, but... 160? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. Well, he did have Force Field, which affects the rule of C's because he's... Got three plus one is four, times one point is six. So he gets knocked down to three, where normally he would be doing six. But no one else would be affected by the force field, I don't think. But I don't know. But uh, we'll do better on the next one once we have our hero equipped. Which maybe I'll pause this and then get my hero equipped and then see what happens. Won't have any, like, forge stuff, but I just want to show you guys what happens at that point. I won't have any runes yet, but anyways, we got three more 50s to do here. Fitty, open. Yes, yes. So again, we're plus two legendaries and plus one epic so far. Come on, come on. One row, two rows, three rows, four rows. But last time that happened, we did get the uh, legendary boots, so. 16 commons. There's our first epic. Two more epics of the sword. So that, yeah, that's not high tier. 
11 commons, 19 commons, 14 commons. I'm going to start, stop saying how many commons are just kind of highlight. Ooh, well, 17 agile boots, still slightly below odds. So I think I'm going to be like three agile boots short of odds. Another legendary sword. Again, not tied tier for that one, though. Come on, come on. Uh oh. Two more epics. Iron Hauberk. Not sure if we had that in Epic or Legendary yet. I don't remember saying the name, the word Hauberk yet. But there's more leggings, so we got our two legendaries for the 50. Standard wand. Another legendary. So we're plus three. Plus three. Tome. Nine Agile Boot Rares. 15, 20 swords. Epic boots. Round shield epic. And sword. So let's see. How many epics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So only seven epics. So we're actually too short on epics now. Um, but we are now plus three on legendaries. So uh, not going to complain. Not going to complain at all. Cheapest legendary is 10k. Best epic is 6k. I will happily take extra legendaries at the sacrifice of not getting enough epics. Happy to do so. All right. Final 50. Final 50. Because yeah, 2, 8. So we're at what, 11 legendaries so far? I think. We can get zero legendaries in this batch and still be beating odds. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. But even if it does, we can't be too salty. All right, so we've had four rows exactly, or four rows plus one every time. So pretty consistent. All right. Five rares, epic hauer, hauberk. I might be saying that wrong. Nineteen agile boots. So I think we finished. I think like maybe minus two for common boots, which that's close enough, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Two epic hardy leggings. Two legendary iron gauntlets in fifty packs. Okay, okay. Two uh, epic round shield. Epic Wand, Epic Gauntlets, this is going pretty good. Can we get another Epic or Legendary Boots? Because I'm greedy. I'm a greedy boy. Five Rare Boots. Come on, Boots. 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 Not Leggings, Boots. All right, that might be our first Legendary Quiver. Might be. Might be. And that that is... Like, boots are top tier, and then the next tier, again, is wand, bow, and quiver. Uh, leggings is kind of its own tier, and then everything else, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Another legendary tome right away. There we go, two epic agile boots. Let's go. Let's go. 18 commons and 18 commons. So, uh, let's see. Epics, we had two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine. So we actually finish four below odds on epics. But legendaries, we were beating the odds by three. Here's our quota of two for the batch. And then we got two more. So we got five extra legendaries, which uh, definitely more than offsets the four uh, epics we were short. Uh, only, only, only one legendary was boots. Uh, let's see, how many epics are boots? I suppose we can look at cards. I, I have not been to look at this before because I haven't had things. Oh, it actually goes by rarity, it looks like. That's pretty nice. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're missing two different legendaries. Let's see, wand, sword, and bow. Do we not get wand? So we didn't get the wand, which is one of the better ones. Um, bu -bu 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 Halberk and Halberk. Those are the two we did not get. Uh, this is the Halberk. Gives armor. And given that the round shield is what I've seen, let's say the cheapest, like Halberk I feel should also be like on the cheaper side. And it is 12k. So. so we're missing something from the second tier and something from the bottom tier. Not too bad. Um, we got... Well, actually, nothing we got duplicates of is top tier. We got one short bow, one quiver, one boots. So we were probably below average as far as the average value of our legendaries, but for the total uh, total value, we we did well. We got seven epic boots. 
Oh, man. Because seven that matches our highest for epics. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have all the different epics. And I know I have all the different rares and commons. No worries there. So 26 boots. Okay, that is low. Uh, one at 24 is the lowest. Boots matches the next lowest, 26. Commons, we got 89 boots. Just kind of in the middle. Uh, 69 for quiver is the worst. And 75, 76. And our highest is 117 of the tomes. And so I'm going to pause recording here and let's try to equip our hero quick. Because that might take me a few minutes because I'm not familiar. Next change of land, I'm going to record it because it shouldn't take long because I don't have any of the runes yet, which would take more time figuring out. So, so just going from the bottom here, superior wand, had no legendary, so going with that. It's going to be two extra magic. You can see the stats here then change like in real time. They were all ones to start. Uh, for feet, we've got the legendary agile boots. I'm not going to level up anything right now, even though I could level up, I think, a couple of legendaries to level two. Uh, but I got to research a little more and to see if I'm going to like reforge or transmutate stuff, try to go fulls and all that stuff. So I don't want to do too much and then do an audible because then it could be hard uh, to change course. So these are going to mostly be legendaries. And there's three different kinds here that don't exist in the game yet. And then ring down here, I, I won't have yet either. Let's see, body. So yeah, Harbrook is the other one that we don't have a legendary of. Dun, 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 dun. Legs. There's no rain. And the hearty tomb. Yes. Okay, so that's seven different. Um, so I'm at three, four, six, and seven now. This will get much better once I actually get runes, but it's actually this probably won't change things by that much yet. But once I like level things up and stuff too, like I can probably get this to like 5-5, five, 10-10 five, ten, ten or whatever, like pretty easily too, but one step at a time. And just for complete sake here, so if we go to warrior, oh yeah, we can put the multiple, but they won't automatically be there. So just kind of go kind of quick here. Just so you can see how all my heroes look instead of being all ones. So they'll have different weapons, but most of the things they're going to share. Dun, dun, dun. I know that. Leggings and body. All right, so he's 4-4-9-4. Four, four, four. The wizard again is 3-4-6-7. Okay, so... They get the hearty tome, but the warrior got that offhand. So I'm I'm gonna guess here. So yeah, that's the shield. Okay, so this piece for the body, that can go on all of them. The Hauerberg, which is 12k, whereas the round shield is 10k I saw on the market. And that can only go with the uh, warrior. And the warrior seems to be the least popular. So it makes sense. Makes sense. Makes more sense for me once I actually like see it in action, sort of speak, or whatever, or get my hands on it, sort of thing. But yeah, agile boots. I only have one, but I'm able to put it on all of them. So only the ranger can get that weapon. Okay, and then the quiver goes there. So it's okay. So that's probably why the ranger is kind of meta because it gets extra speed. Okay, it's all making more sense. And the two tome was what extra health. So you are a four seven six four. Four seven six four. Four seven six. So yeah. So the wizard basically gets extra health. The ranger gets extra speed, and the warrior gets extra armor. Basically, uh, just with you know the uh, the main equipment here without runes, obviously. Okay, so. We're still going to use our wizard uh, because with shields, that's going to cut the ranger or the warrior in half. Backfire and Fury. I don't use taunters anyway. So the last one I did was 161. Uh, well, it's inconclusive. I still feel like the Scavel Hireling, now that I'm doing it and saying it out loud, should do better than the uh, Merdali Guardian since it's got camouflage and you want the repair to survive. So I'll do the same exact map as last time where I got, I think, again, I think it was 161. I think. And we'll see how we do this time. With the same lineup. Hopefully we can break 300. 
I'm, I'm going to do more stuff not recording before I actually exhaust my stamina. Uh, but should still be definitely a non-zero improvement here. I'm going to be embarrassed. Skava High Early. All right. Battle away. What we got? What we got? Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bada, bum. Let's get the rewards. 342. That might be the highest I've seen so far against this boss. Very well, could be. I would do another one, but it's got Void now, so I'm just going to wait. Um, if I had a rule set that didn't hinder magic, I was going to do one more just for a better sample size. But uh, either way, obviously my hero is more powerful now, so I should do more damage. How much more damage? I'll, I'll need a bigger sample size. But uh, we're definitely trending in the right direction now. Uh, are we top 70? We are exactly 70th right now. Uh, hopefully, once I do a few more things here, I'll be able to get into and stay in the top 50 anyway and then keep getting better from there. So I'm actually decent ways away from there right now, but we'll see how it goes. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, I may do another couple videos like this. I'll space them out. You know, I do them, like do the actual openings closer together, but uh, I don't want to do 250 alpha crate openings, you know, each day for five days or four days or whatever I have enough for. But if you guys enjoy it, I don't want to be too repetitive like that. But anyways, shut up, Jeff. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Rock the like button. And I'll see you next time, whenever and wherever that may be. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to get in on my next bulk buy, group buy, for the Enhanced Bags, join my Discord, link down below. Uh, read the description of the channel. Uh, Splinter, well, it's SF for Splinter Forge. SF, group buy or bulk buy. I've got it. I have it named offhand now. But um, check that out for the details. Or watch my previous video where I talk about the details in there. Uh, we're hoping to do that next weekend. Um, so by the 19th of February and hoping to end up getting the 20% bonus. So, uh, while it's advertised right now as 28,000 Forgium for eight bags, you can do it at multiples. It will likely end up being 20,000 Forgium for six, five plus one bonus, 20% bonus. Uh, but if you got questions, let me know, join the discord. You have to send me a friend request, you do DMs for me or whatever, but, uh, Hope to find that off by next weekend. Uh, basically, wait, I have verbal commands including myself for 750 pre-bonus. So we're looking for 250 more uh, purchase equity or whatever. Uh, I might end up putting up myself if it comes to it. But I'm hoping to get at least another 1 to 150 committed. Uh, so I max out like 400 pre-bonus for myself. But we'll see. But I'm going to shut up. And again, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.